How to Organize Your Room Organizing your room will make you feel more calm and in control of your own life. Going about your day will be much easier if you know exactly where everything is. You'll not have to waste 20 minutes of your day searching for your favorite top or pair of jeans. If you want to know how to organize your room, just follow these steps. Sort through your belongings. Take all of your belongings out of their current locations. This may seem painful and like you're creating a bigger mess, but if you really want to organize your room anew, you have to start from scratch. Though you may be overwhelmed by the giant pile of stuff you've created on your floor, desk, or bed, rest assured that you'll find the right place for everything you own soon. 1. Remove everything from your closet, your clothes, shoes, and anything you keep in your closet can go in a pile on the floor in front of the closet. Remove everything from your desk. You can place the papers and anything else you find on the desk's surface. Remove everything from your dresser. If you're creating too much of a mess, remove one drawer at a time. Take any other items that are laying around and place them on your bed and on the floor. If taking everything out of its place at once is overwhelming and is taking up too much space, you can tackle your room by taking apart one area at a time. Organize your belongings. Before you begin to figure out where everything should go, you should get a number of boxes and label them for different purposes. Crates or plastic bins will work just as well, but boxes are best because you can just get rid of them when you're done organizing and won't have to deal with more clutter. Here's how you should label the boxes. Keep. The items that you keep will be items that you use on a regular basis. If you've used the item in the last two or three months, you should keep it. Store. These are things that you can't bear to throw away, such as something with sentimental value, but which you rarely use. You can also store away a large portion of your clothes that you won't wear until the next season or two. If it's the middle of the summer, you can store your winter sweaters, and if it's the dead of winter, you can store your summer dresses. Give or sell. These are items that may benefit someone or could be sold, but which you don't need anymore. You may have a nice sweater that you don't fit into anymore that you can donate, or an old textbook that you can sell. Throw out. These are items that no one needs, including you. If you have to spend time wondering what something is, or when the last time you even saw it was, it's time to toss it. Try to get rid of as many items as possible. This is an important step. Though you may want to throw everything in the keep box, or have put every last extra item in the store box, this won't help you get organized. You need to do some soul searching to figure out what you really need in your life. Remember that less really is more, the less things you have, the easier it will be to organize your room. Try the 20 second rule. If you have to spend more than 20 seconds looking at an item and asking yourself if you'll ever use it again, the answer is no. If you have something you know you don't need but don't want to part with it, try giving it to a friend or family member so you feel better about it being in someone else's hands. Put all the boxes except the keep boxes in the right place. Now that you've organized your room, you can begin to get rid of all the things you don't need. The sooner you get rid of or store the other boxes, the easier it will be to move on with your organization. Here's what to do. The first part is easy. Just throw out everything in the throw out box. Find a local church, Goodwill, or another organization that is taking donations, and bring all of your donated items there. Be prepared for the place to tell you that they won't accept some of your items. You can either try to donate them somewhere else, or just throw them out. Start selling your sell items. Have a garage sale or put them on Craigslist. Store your storage boxes. If you have a storage unit or another place outside of your room to place them, great. If not, store them in a part of your room you won't be using very often, such as under your bed or in the back of your closet. Remember to label them carefully so you know where your things are when the time comes.